Welcome to this class. Today we are continuing the same chapter force and motion of the subject science and technology of class 9 and this is part 5. This chapter is divided into 10 different parts and we are presenting them one after another. In first part we discussed about the definitions, different definitions related to the motion of the body, distance, displacement, speed, velocity, average velocity, variable velocity, non-uniform velocity, uniform velocity, acceleration, retardation, scalar and vector quantity. In second class, we established four different equations of motion. They were number one, V equal to U plus AT, number two, S equal to U plus V by 2 into T, number three, v square equal to u square plus 2 a s and number 4 s equal to u t plus half a t square and after the establishment of this equation after the derivation of this equation then we used those equation to solve numerical problem in part 3 and part 4 according to the given in the numerical problem we have to select the proper equation to solve that particular numerical problem that we did in part 3 and part 4. Now it's turn of graphical representation. Now we are going to represent the motion of the body graphically and actually moving body may have uniform velocity, uniform acceleration or it may be moving with variable velocity, it may be moving with non-uniform velocity also but the motion of a body in a straight line can be represented graphically and there are three basic types of graph with which we can represent the motion of the body I am going to introduce all those okay let's start graphical representation of motion displacement time graph motion of a body can be represented by displacement time graph which is also called ST graph S means displacement, T means time and ST graph is short form of displacement time graph. In the same way, motion of a body can be represented by this way also, I mean to say another graph also, velocity time graph. We can represent the motion of a body by velocity time graph and certainly we can say VT graph. V means velocity, T means time, VT graph can be used to represent the motion of the body. And there is third method also which is also called acceleration time graph and certainly AT graph. By AT graph also motion of the body can be represented. Today we are focused on displacement time graph not in velocity time graph. In next class I will tell you about the velocity time graph but acceleration time graph is not given in the book that's why we are not doing this but this is also one of the method of representation of motion of the body if the body is in straight line. Okay, let's go, let's continue the displacement time graph. Okay, if someone says graph, then certainly you know that there are two axes, one horizontal line represents x axis and vertical line represents y axis and we have to divide them in equal part like this x-axis and y-axis we have to divide in equal part. Now we are talking about displacement time graph that's why displacement and time should be taken in this graphical representation. This time is taken in x-axis remember this we have to take time always in x-axis and normally we take time in second that's why look at this time in brackets written what second what it mean we have taken time in x-axis and it is taken in second. Now let's talk about y-axis. In y-axis certain numbers I have written here displacement is placed in y-axis and here what is written displacement and in bracket meter is written it means the displacement of the body is measured in meter. Now this is just the structure of the displacement time graph. This is just the structure. 
displacement time graph is not drawn till now this is the structure only the displacement time graph contains this time in x axis and displacement in y axis now how can we define this displacement time graph let's talk about this a graphical representation in which displacement is taken in y axis and time is taken in x axis to show the relation between displacement and time is called displacement time graph this may be the definition what i told you if displacement in taken in y axis and time is taken in x axis to represent the relationship between these two then this graphical representation is called displacement time graph okay now i am going to make graph just before this i was showing just the structure only this is the real representation look at this let's see a body is moving in such a way that in one second it covers 10 meter distance that's why i have to point out this point by dot mark which says that a body is moving a body is moving a, a body is moved to 10 meter distance in one second and again the same body is continuously moving in another one second it covered 10 meter distance again and another one second it covered another 10 meter distance in this way every second the body if covers 10 meter distance then we can represent this with displacement time graph like this and when we connect all these dot mark then we'll get real displacement time graph now i want to tell you in detail what kind of motion is shown in this graph look at this if a body covers 10 meter distance in first one second and again 10 meter distance in second one second again 10 meter distance in third one second what it mean the body is moving in such a way that equal interval of time to every equal interval of time it covers equal distance if a body is moving in such a way that if it covers equal distance in equal interval of time then the body is moving with uniform velocity and uniform velocity can be defined this way a body is said to be moving with uniform velocity if it covers equal distances in equal interval of time okay this is the definition of uniform velocity but our target is not to uh, define uniform velocity our target is to see what type of graph can be obtained if we represent uniform velocity in displacement time graph that's why i want to say now type of graph displacement time graph of a body moving with the uniform velocity is an inclined straight line look at this again displacement time graph of a body moving with uniform velocity is an inclined straight line this is inclined straight line okay now i want to tell you about some other matter not uniform velocity let's say a body is at the distance of 20 meter from reference point here it is and after one second if it is at the same place then we can uh, put a dot mark here and after another one second we can put another dot mark here because the distance between the reference point and the body is not changing and it is in the same place so this dot mark represent that the body is not moving and when we join all these dot mark then we'll get a straight line a straight line which is parallel to x axis a straight line parallel to x axis represents what this is the representation of the body at rest if a body is at rest then the displacement time graph of that body will be a straight line and this straight line is parallel to x axis then we can say this way displacement time graph of a body at rest is a straight line parallel to x axis okay now let's do another type of motion i mean to say i want to show you another type of motion this again displacement time graph the structure is given if a body is at the distance of 50 meter i mean to say at the displacement of 50 meter from reference point here and the body is coming towards the reference point if it covers 10 meter distance towards the reference point now it came to 40 meter displacement i mean to say 40 meter from the reference point now after another one second it comes to 30 meter 
from the reference point. It is moving towards the reference point. Then again in another second, 20 meter from reference point and at last it comes to reference point. And these dot marks are when connected by means of a straight line, then we'll get a straight line. This straight line represents another type of motion. This is negative velocity. What it means? If a body moves away from the reference point, then we'll have positive velocity. But if a body is moving towards the reference point, then this represents negative velocity. In this case, the body is uh, far away from the reference point, 50 meter away from the reference point. Every second it is coming towards the reference point and at last it came to the reference point. And this type of motion is negative velocity. And how can we define, I mean to say, how can we represent negative velocity graphically? Displacement time graph of a body moving with negative velocity is a straight line inclined towards y-axis. Look, look at this another representation. I told you about three different types of motion. One uniform velocity, another body at rest and another negative velocity. Now I want to show them together. If a body is moving with uniform velocity, we will get this type of graph in displacement time graph. And if it stops moving, then a to B uniform velocity, but B to C it stops moving, then uh, it came to rest. Now from C to D, now it is again coming towards the reference point. That's why at this time negative velocity. First uniform velocity body is moving away from the reference point and while reaching to certain place, it is at rest at that place for a few seconds and then again it came back to uh, the same reference point. Can you give any example of this type of motion? I want to give you one example. If a person starts his bike and moves to certain direction in a straight line for a few seconds or few minutes and while going to that place, if he covers equal distance in equal interval of time, then he is moving with uniform velocity and first segment of the graph represents his motion. And when he reaches to certain place, when he stops his bike and he picks up someone behind him, for a few seconds it is stopped. That's why BC part can be compared with that picking up of a friend from certain place. And if he returns back to the same point from which he was started, then CD represents that part. I mean to say now it is negative velocity because he is coming back to reference point. This way we can compare this graph with our daily life experience. Okay, now let's go to a little another part. I told you about the displacement time graph, especially three points, uniform velocity, rest and negative velocity. Now let's go to another part. What is shown in the screen, this is our displacement time graph of a body which has uniform velocity. And I want to find out the velocity with the help of graph. If this graph is given to you and you are told to find out the velocity with the help of this graph, then you can get it very easily. We know that velocity equal to displacement by time. And velocity can be compared with this slope. I mean to say this slope represents the velocity. And the displacement is the rise. And this time is the run. That's why we can write velocity as slope and rise and run as displacement and time. Now, how much is the rise? I mean to say change in displacement. How much is the change of displacement? That can be written in place of rise this way and change how much is the change of time that can be written in uh, this dt is dt change of time as a run okay now for this how to find out the velocity we have to select two points from the slope one point something like a another point something like b we can select any two points of the slope 
it may be this point, this point, any point. One point is selected here as A, another point is selected here as B. And if we draw a vertical line towards the displacement, then A is at the displacement of 20 meter, B is at the dis displacement of 40 meter. And if we connect A and B with vertical line and horizontal line, we'll get our triangle A, B, and C. And A represents 2 seconds, B represents 4 seconds. It means here, here we have a triangle in which B, BC represents the displacement and CA represents the time. That's why the change of displacement delta S can be written as BC and change of time can be written as CA. Now, this displacement BC is 40 minus 20, but CA, change of time is 4 minus 2. So, we can write 20 meter upon 2 second. This is equal to 10 meter per second. Look at this. Very interesting. If a graph is given to you, with the help of that graph, you can find out the velocity of the body which is shown in that graph. The velocity is found what? 10 meter per second. It means the body is moving in such a way that every second it covers 10 meter distance and this is in uniform velocity. Okay, let's go to another part. If we get this type of slope, then what do you think? The slope is very high. The angle made by slope with x axis, look at this axis, x. Angle made by this slope with the axis is very high, but this line represents what? The angle made by this slope with x axis is less. If we have this type of representation, I mean to say if velocity time graph is very stiff like this, then velocity will be high, it will be more than 10 meter per second. But if the slope is less like this, then the velocity will be less than 10 meter per second. We have to uh, think about this also. If somewhere the stiffness is very high, then we can say that velocity is very high. And if it is less inclined, I mean to say like this, then, then we can say that velocity is less. Okay, let's go to another. This is question time. Let's talk about one question. Looking at the screen, you can understand easily displacement time graph is shown in the screen and a graphical representation is here. Now question is which of the following type of motion of the body is shown in the given graph respectively. Now we have given four different options. Now we have to select one of the options. Which of the following type of motion of the body is shown in the given graph respectively. Now look at this which type this part, this segment of the graph represents the body is at rest because we know that if a body is at rest then its displacement time graph is parallel to x-axis. That's why this, rep this part represents rest. But this is the inclined straight line and it is inclined towards y-axis. That's why it represents negative velocity. First part represents rest Second part represents negative velocity. Rest and negative velocity is given in option number 3. That's why option number 3 is correct. Okay, let's move to another graphical representation of linear motion. Let's say we have given a table and this table represents certain da data. Now, we are going to fill up this in this displacement time graph. What is given here? 0 second, 0 meter per second. It means the body is at rest first. At the end of 1 second, its velocity is 1 meter per second. At the end of 2 second, 2 meter per second. At the end of 3 second, 3 meter per second. It means every second, velocity is increasing by 1 meter per second. It means the body is moving with uniform acceleration because we know that a body is said to be moving with uniform acceleration if its velocity changes in equal amounts in equal interval of time. Same thing happening here. Every second change of velocity is 1 meter per second. That's why the body is moving with uniform acceleration. Now what type of graph? Now what type of graph appears if this data is filled up into the 
displacement time graph. We are going to fill up. Look at this, 0, 0 meter per second, this is the point. And we'll put one dot mark here. And second dot mark here. Why? Because after one second, its velocity is 1 meter per second. That's why at the end of one second, velocity is 1 meter per second. Means the distance covered by the body is 1 meter. That's why one dot mark is placed at this place. But at the end of two seconds, what is seen here? Actually, in second second, it covers two meter distance. It means two meter distance from this position at the end of two second, two meter distance from this position is one meter, one meter, two meter. It means the position will be here. And at the end of three second, what happened? Three meter distance is covered in third second. That's why one, two, three. Here it should be. Now, at the end of four second, I mean to say, in fourth second, it covers four meter distance. It means from here, one, two, three, four. This should be the dot mark. Now, when we join all these dot mark, then what we get, this is not a straight line, this is curved line, and this is called parabolic line. It means, if uniform acceleration is represented by displacement time graph, then we'll get a curved line and this is a parabolic line, uniform acceleration. This is the decision and that's why I want to say another point also, if you have to show uniform acceleration by graph without any value, then you can show this way. This is displacement time graph of uniform acceleration, okay. Now, if you have to show retardation by displacement time graph, it will appear like this. This is different than the previous, okay. We are continuously representing what displacement time graph of different type of motion. Let's go to another type of motion. This data represents certain type of motion of the body. What is shown here, at the end of one second, the body is at the distance of two meter. At the end of two second, it is at the distance of three meter. I mean to say three meter distance is covered in second second. And in third second, it covers one meter distance, fourth second, four meter. It means in equal interval of time, the body doesn't cover equal distance. That's why body is moving with variable velocity. Body is moving with variable velocity. What it is? A body is said to be moving with variable velocity if it covers unequal distances in equal interval of time or its direction of motion changes. This is the definition of variable velocity. Now, now I want to fill up this data in this graph. Okay, one second time, two meter distance. Look at this one second time, two meter distance. This can be represented by this dot mark. And in another one second, it covers three meter distance. It means high up. On the one second time, it goes to one to three meter distance. Altogether, we have five meter distance. Now, in another one second, it means third second, it covers only one meter distance. That's why it, we have to put one point at this place. And in the same way, if we mark all these, then we can join all these dot mark. And what we got at last, this is curved line. It means the graphical representation of a body moving with variable velocity is like this, curved line. And it has no any definite direction. I mean to say, uh, this is just the curved line, not parabolic, not hyperbolic, but it may go right or left from the previous point. Okay. Okay, after this much understanding, now I want to present one uh, displacement time graph in front of you and I want to ask you some question. Look at this. This is displacement time graph and it has different segment from A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, F, G, as many segments are there. Now, the question is, which part of the graph represents the negative velocity? Let's come back to the graph. Which part represents negative velocity? Do you remember this? Negative velocity means the inclined straight line, but inclination is towards y-axis. Inclined straight line, but it is tilted towards y-axis. This is 
negative velocity from e to f f to z also and s to i also there are three segments which represents negative velocity ef fz and si now we can answer this what what was the question which part of the graph represents the negative velocity we have to write this way ef fg and si represents negative velocity now let's go to another question which part of the graph represents the state of rest now let's come back to this diagram rest means which part i want to recall what i told you if the graphic in the graphical representation a straight line comes which is parallel to x axis then that represents the body is at rest that's why this part de is parallel to this x axis in the same way as g is also parallel to x axis that's why de and at g represents the body is at rest now let's go to another question which part of the graph represents uniform velocity what do you expect about the uniform velocity the graphical representation of uniform velocity is an inclined straight line and it is inclined towards x axis and look at this graph here ab is inclined towards x axis and it is inclined straight line bc is also inclined straight line cd is also inclined straight line and this inclination is towards x axis that's why all these three part represents what uh, uniform velocity ab bc and cd all of them represents uniform velocity but all these part uh, all these segments segment represents uniform velocity which is positive velocity actually ef fg and si also represents uniform velocity but this is negative velocity in question number 1 negative velocity is told that's why i am not including ab bc and cd in that place this has also uniform velocity positive but ef fg and si has uniform velocity but it is negative velocity that's why it comes as a as an answer of question number 1 okay now can you tell me which one is which one represents very high uniform velocity ab bc or cd which one represents very high uniform velocity we have to go go through angle made by that inclined straight line with x axis this angle this angle is high that's why it has maximum uniform velocity but this angle made by bc with the x axis is less and uh, angle made by cd with x axis is comparatively less if we compare with the angle made by ab with x axis so uniform velocity is very high uh, in this segment ab okay this is Uh, one of the interesting question now i want to present another question also look at this another question displacement time graph is shown to you there are many graph first graph represents what what kind of motion is represented in first graph this is just the revision of the whole class what i told you in this class it comes uh, here as a summary this first graph represents uniform velocity because we have previously decided that a straight line which is inclined represents uniform velocity that's why first graph represents uniform velocity now second graph what type of motion it represents actually it represents rest because we have previously decided that if a body is at rest then its uh, displacement time graph is straight line parallel to x axis now in third case look at this third case this is also inclined straight line but it is tilted towards y axis if it is tilted towards y axis then uniform velocity but negative velocity now look at this fourth one what type of uh, motion is shown in this if it is displacement time graph this is acceleration positive acceleration we can say uniform acceleration also now here the what type of motion is shown in this fifth one it is retardation 
if velocity goes on decreasing and decreasing and at last the body comes to rest then that type of motion is represented by this graph in displacement time graph. Now this one last one is non-uniform velocity because the graphical representation of non-uniform velocity is curved line it is no, not a straight line it goes left right in different direction it is uh, different than this acceleration it is parabolic but this has no any definite pattern this type of curve line represents non-uniform velocity okay i told you about the displacement time graph exactly what it is and different type of motion can be represented by different uh, displacement time graph uniform velocity uniform acceleration variable velocity etc I represented all these motion in this class I think uh, you can explain this to other also now uh, next class we will meet with velocity time graph okay this much for today thank you